Am I the asshole for bluntly telling a woman it's dangerous to put essential oils in sensitive areas? My uncle's new girlfriend came to family dinner the other night and it was the first time anyone in my family met her. She is super into essential oils which is very eye-roll inducing for me but I didn't say anything about it or show that I found it annoying at first. I bit my tongue while she went on about putting them in her water. You should not be ingesting essential oils and rubbing them on pressure points and trying to convince my mom to buy some. But then she brought up that they can be super good for yeast infections. I looked at her super horrified and asked, you mean you're putting them down there? And she said yes you just insert a few drops and it clears up right away. I told her this was very dangerous and could cause chemical burns as well as throwing off your vaginal pH and potentially causing other infections. She said, oh no you don't have to worry about that they're all natural. Exclamation mark quote. To which I replied, so is poison ivy but I wouldn't suggest shoving it up your vagina. She just looked kind of shocked. My sister laughed and my aunt said, well she has a point, but other family members said that it was rude and crass. Which I didn't think so because she's the one who started talking about yeast infections at a family dinner certainly saying the word vagina is less crass than that. Not the asshole. Calling out a snake oil salesman for being a snake oil salesman is never an asshole move. Even if the person selling snake oil believes it's a good idea. Better warn your uncle's new girlfriend that the earth may not actually be flat whilst you're at it. The more you know. So is poison ivy but I wouldn't suggest shoving it up your vagina. Dot. Pure gold right here. Not the asshole. Not the asshole fuck MLMs and their lies. Not the asshole. You're awesome and I love how you handled this. That MLM essential oil crap is an instant indicator that you're dealing with someone who needs things explained bluntly. Sometimes with puppets for additional clarity. Not the asshole. Gynecologists keep saying not to put things that don't belong in your hooha in your hooha. And if there are people like her that put essential oils in there. God have mercy. Not the asshole you got me at. So is poison ivy but I wouldn't suggest shoving it up your vagina. I just hate when people suggest treatments for whatever and think that they will cause no harm because it's all natural what you said needed to be said. Maybe now that woman will keep her advices to herself. I have nothing against natural treatments when they go alongside with what modern society considers scientifically proven treatments. But people who actually know about natural treatments don't go around giving one unsolicited advice two advices that could be harmful. Not the asshole vagina is a medical term. She's not an asshole either, just stupid. Strong not the asshole while essential oils are certainly, natural, their manufacturing process is highly industrialized, and the complete opposite of natural, which is the only way they can get the oil in such high concentrations. You certainly don't get that level of concentration naturally. Seriously, just because it's natural doesn't make it good arsenic, asbestos, and box jellyfish are all also natural and nobody is claiming that this makes them good for you. Am I the asshole for reporting a server over posting a TikTok? May sound implausible, but setting. Coffee shop in small town America. Most people know each other, so not really that out of the ordinary. There's a nice indie cafe a few blocks from my house, which I, 28M, go to a couple of times weekly. Servers all know me. This month, I had my mum with me, her visiting the US for the first time. Mum spent all her life in a se Asian country, her English is not good, etc. Anyway, I go to work one day last week, mum wanders over to the cafe. I get home that night, ask mum how her trip to the cafe was. She says it's nice, told me what she got, and fuck I forget she doesn't know about tipping here. Where she lives, there's a large service charge included so you don't really tip in eateries, and def not in small ones. Completely my bad, and entirely my fault for forgetting to inform her. I ask her which server, she describes someone I know as Jane, 25-ish F. I go to the cafe the next day the minute it opens, sees Jane is working, and apologize profusely, explains my mum doesn't know re-tipping, and give her a 70% tip, bill came up to around $10 so it wasn't really breaking the bank. She's understandably slightly cool, but I apologize to the best of my ability. I thought that was that. Number, two days later a colleague texts me a link to a TikTok. Jane apparently has a sizable TikTok following where she talks about being a barista, her customers, how to make X or Y drink. Nice stuff. Except a video from the day my mum visited, where Jane videoed the back and side of her head, made jokes about people coming over from, fuck knows, 
not tipping because it's man eat dog world out there quietly barked on video she didn't seem to notice it was at her lots of shares and likes and comments by the way again our town is 99 percent white jane wouldn't really be encountering many foreigners at all it's not a no tip epidemic gave her benefit of the doubt went over the next day and politely asked her to take it down she said no, it's her right, and it was her degrading experience. Manager comes over, Jane tells the tipping part and that she made a video out of desperation, and she wouldn't take it down. I tell manager that I came back, apologized, tipped her 70%, and explained my mum didn't know. I showed her the TikTok, and manager's face changes. She doesn't discipline Jane in front of me, but from what I hear, she was let go immediately. Now her mother is posting on her own in my FB as well as hinting on the community Facebook group about certain payole not respecting servers, and causing Jane to be fired. Several people, many who don't know the whole story, agreeing with her, even discussing setting up a collection. Almost total belief that I am the awe, no mention of the TikTok. Am I the asshole? Should I have dragged my 70 y oh mum in to apologize to Jane? What exactly can I do now? Edit. Thank you so 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 much to everyone who's commented and reassured me, and also for the awards. It's very kind of you, and I'm definitely feeling much better about Jane losing her job, as I realize it's not exactly my fault. I've reported the videos to TikTok and so have some friends, hopefully they take it down but I have a screen recorded copy of it. I've also made the decision not to tell my mum the details of the argument, per se as she's leaving to see my brother in a few days anyway, and I don't want to upset her by telling her about, Jane's, horrible behavior as it would just set her on edge. She's in her 70s and not online, English speaking so wouldn't come across the TikTok etc anyway. Edit 2. Mum, mom discrepancy because I didn't grow up in either US or UK. Quite common to alternate if you learned English abroad tears of joy. 3. On messages about our ethnicity, what spurred the dog comments. We are full Koreans, my late dad and mom both settled v young in a se Asian country during unrest in our home country, I grew up there too. We all look fully Asian, I have a noticeable not American accent, mom's English is quite weak. So the dog comment is definitely about that I'm sure. Not the asshole. Tipping isn't mandatory, and it should have ended at that. Jane was not only unprofessional, she didn't have to make it personal either. Jane did the true and tried, fucked around and found out. The firing is the results of her own actions. Not the asshole obviously. You made a mistake and fixed it to the best of your ability even though you had no obligation to do so. Jane was beyond an asshole and got herself fired. Edit. Just in case this doesn't go without saying. This would be the verdict even if the TikTok was simply rude and didn't also include obvious and horrible racist references. Not the asshole. That's just straight up racism and tipping is still not mandatory. Even if it's common to tip. She doesn't even deserve a tip. Not the asshole. Bro she barked at her. Even if your mum was drinking coffee through her ears or some shit there is no excuse for barking at her. Also re FB. I'm sure your townsfolk will quickly take back their collection tins once you link to her TikTok where she is barking at a senior citizen loudly crying. Not the asshole filming someone without them knowing or their consent to post content already pisses me off in general. But she was disrespecting a customer and tips are not supposed to be expected. The service industry has tried to ingrain it into people, and the tipping culture in America is getting out of control. Also a bit of a trigger for me. Plus, her TikTok sounded a bit racist. What cafe wants their cafe to be represented like that? Sucks she got fired but hopefully she'll learn from that. Not the asshole, you went back, apologized, tipped her back and found out about a racist video where she barked at your mom. How is she the one being degraded? Actions have consequences and now she's experiencing it. Not the asshole. This isn't just about the not tipping, either. Her TikTok was being outright racist, and I expect that is a big part of why the manager's attitude changed upon seeing it. Not the asshole. My mom's friend did the same thing at a restaurant, except she knew she needed to leave at least a 15% tip but she did the math wrong. She realized after she left, called the restaurant the next day, found out when the waiter was working, and brought him a real tip. Not 70%, because this was a bill for a really nice dinner for a group, but still probably like 25%. That waiter was significant other grateful and anytime she returned to eat there he said hi and was genuinely happy to see her. This barista is being a racist brat. 
Am I the asshole for going to a work dinner alone because my fiancé didn't want to change? It wasn't a work dinner per se, but a celebratory dinner with my colleagues my boss organized to congratulate, thank us for the past year. It was no black tie event but it was at a nicer restaurant and with my boss so there was a certain decorum expected. Partners were allowed so I thought to bring my fiancé and she agreed. Lately my fiancé has been dressing less conservatively, for lack of a better word, which hasn't really phased me much because whatever but I kind of expected her to dress a bit more appropriately given the setting and company. When I picked her up though, she was dressed in these fishnet stockings, short shorts and a blazer with no shirt, bra underneath. I reminded her that my boss will be there and where we were going and she said it didn't matter. Told her that it wasn't appropriate and that we still had time if she could find something else. If it matters, I was just wearing jeans and a sweater. Long story short she said she wasn't interested in changing and if it bothered me so much I should go alone. So I went alone. As expected, everyone else was also dressed casually but not too casual. Dinner lasted a couple hours and then I returned home. Fiancé was mad that I left without her and said that I was being controlling, wasted her time since she got all dressed up and put on makeup. I understand her disappointment but it wasn't appropriate for where we were going and she didn't want to change. I ate a? Not the asshole. It was a professional event, and that was, not a professional outfit. It's fine to dress how you like and express yourself, but that doesn't mean it's okay to completely ignore what's appropriate for the type of event you're attending, especially when it's work-related. Edit to add. Okay guys, the, that's an outfit for a certain type of professional, joke has been done. A I am generally on team. You don't get to tell a woman what to wear ever. But I do think asking her to put on a shirt to meet the boss in a corporate, work dinner setting is within reason, and does not make you an asshole. I'd have met her in the middle and been like, okay listen fine with all this but I'ma need a shirt, okay? Not the asshole. Not the asshole I'm not sure why people have decided decorum doesn't matter. I guess it is how they keep up with the Kardashians, but it does and she wasn't there for you. Not the asshole. I am all for not policing women's bodies but there are certain dress codes that should be followed. An employer-sponsored event is not the time for this outfit. She could have saved it for a date night or a night out with her friends. Not the asshole. She isn't mad at you because you went alone. She's mad because her attempt at manipulating you in order to get her way. If you don't like it, then go without me. Backfired. Not the asshole. A work event is an important part of building your career, and if she's wearing something that can compromise that, then you made the next best choice. Not the asshole, and I say that as someone who really enjoys wearing daring outfits. If I'm attending someone's work function as a plus one I take their lead regarding outfit and behavior. You guys could have talked about this earlier though, especially since it sounds like you already had similar differences in the past. Not the asshole. I wonder if she wasn't all that interested in going in the first place but didn't want to tell you because she thought you would be upset. So she just dressed inappropriately on purpose so she didn't have to go and used the, you're controlling, stuff as a way to avoid blame, responsibility. Maybe it's me but this has projection written all over it. Am I the asshole for refusing to let a female student use the bathroom? Okay, so. I know the title makes me look like a major asshole but hear me out. I am 46 work at a high school as a PE teacher and recently I noticed that a student of mine, let's call her a stopped participating in class, and her excuse would always be the same. Mr. Smith, me, I'm on my period, can I please go to bathroom? This carried on every PE lesson for one month when our unit was dancing and I had to give each student a mark. At this point A was concerningly behind everyone in our unit and I had nothing to grade her on and I was getting increasingly annoyed and up until this point I had never told her no when she always used the bathroom and would come back after 45 minutes so once again she asked if she could use the bathroom because she was on her period and I just snapped. A. If you're on your period this often, multiple times in two months then I honestly think you need medical help. I have to grade you, come up and participate. Later that day at around 1700 I was placed on temporary leave because of the complaints I got from A's parents and A had also gotten her friends and their parents to complain. I was being called sexist and multiple other names by the student's parents and I was honestly so confused and multiple of the student's parents threatened the principal to turn to social media or even enroll their girls in another school because of me since they felt unsafe with a sexist teacher. So, am I the asshole and what should be my next action to regain the parents' respect? You are the asshole. It is never okay for you to comment on a teenage girl's biological functions, true or untrue. 
You should have just said, you have not participated in, X number of classes, X number of weeks. And if you do not participate I am going to have to give you a failing grade. That is the limit of your authority. And hash X 200 B. Edit. As someone else commented, or anyone else's biological functions, for that matter, which, also yes. Edit. A lot of aggressive ignorance is happening in these comments lol. Assuming this is an adolescent girl. Yeah you are the asshole. 1. Menstruation is completely unpredictable in the early years so it could be a truthful thing, doubt it, but it could. 2. If you noticed she stopped participating, why not have a conversation about it instead of embarrassing her in front of the class? I'm sure you recall how god-awful it is to be in a developing body and as a girl. You also get the added bonus of boys looking and making disgusting comments. You are the asshole you know there was a better way to handle that. You let this go on for two months without contacting her parents and letting them know what was going on. Or your boss? Instead humiliated a teenage girl. Info. If this was a pattern, why weren't you able to address your concerns with A, A's parents, guardians, or a school representative in private rather than calling her out publicly in class? You are the asshole you will not win this one. Your next step should be. 1. Speak with your union's legal counsel for your next steps. 2. Stop posting on social media sites trying to justify what you did and garner internet points because all it does is show you're an asshole who loves to humiliate women, girls. 3. Educate yourself in proper ways to handle this in the future. If she really goes to the toilet for 45 minutes, why didn't you talk to her parents a long time ago? You are the asshole so you chose humiliation to try and stop this. After the first month you call a meeting with the parents or send them an email. You totally missed any chance of helping her with whatever issue is going on. I can see your reasoning but I would have sent her to the nurse and then got her parents involved to make sure she is either lying or have real issues. You are the asshole.